getting things done of what you need to do for your future or whatever you want because it can be given to you you have to work for it you know we put a really big value on education that once they finish high school that we should encourage them to go the next level which is post-secondary right and then once they complete that something at that level then they're actually back they're you know they're welcome back in the community to uh, have you know employment you know there's a big gap of um, trade skills in this area and um, you know our students should be encouraged to you know that is just as valuable in their community whether it's being a plumber or electrician you know it doesn't take four years of university all the time they can actually finish their high school diploma and then you know go, go and get um, a little bit of um, education from the trades and come back because that's the whole idea when you get your education that you're going to get a job so and provide for your family and you know the bigger picture is become a productive member of their community and so I was trying to impress upon students that one you're never anonymous so don't ever think that you're anonymous because you're not and um, so if somebody's always looking at you and you're always representative of your community whether you like it or not and that's just a reality so so just like recognize whatever you do is going to be noticeable and the other thing is I emphasize with them is that you're part of a social change process and so uh, remember your ancestors they're the ones that made you be here because if you didn't um, if they didn't negotiate treaties if they didn't negotiate those agreements you might not have education so don't like always respect the, the people that made sure sacrifice so that you could do this just go to class on time Try to focus on your education. Because going to school and having an education, yeah, it just opens all kinds of doors and, and it opens your mind to different possibilities, your life. It could change the whole outlook of the next two generations. Three, four, you know, and so on, yeah. I think what I'm doing this for, like my family, Education comes first because no one never made it to high school, so I'm the first one that's this far, so I'm proud of that, and I want to get this done. So personal safety, um, you know, the, the young people need to um, recognize signs of peer pressure and, uh, you know, learn some healthy coping skills um, and sort of, you know, learn to stay away from those things which will uh, which could get in their way of their education and really learn a lot of skills like uh, time management stay in school be cool <laughs> set new goals or uh, reach for you know the, your future and uh, stay in school those those are my advice i would just hope they make the best the best of, of it and look at it as an adventure. Um, I think if anything is looked at as an adventure, it can be, it would be a little more exciting. I think a student really needs to know that, hey, this is going to be a big change in their life. It's a big transition, uh, like it just involves so much. Uh, you know, they're, they're young and they're going to be leaving home and there's just going to be lots of new things out there that they have to learn and it's a big, it's a big change for them. So, and, and one of the things that I think they just need to um, just be prepared for all the changes and, and uh, give themselves time to adjust to all the changes that, that are going to be happening in, in their in this part of their life. Hmm.